Danny Coker of Counting Cars has been restoring and customizing some of the most terrifying vehicles on the road for 10 seasons. But in addition to being one of the best resto modders in the country, the owner of Counts Customs in Las Vegas, Nevada is also a huge auto enthusiast. The self-taught mechanic who has a career spanning more than 20 years reportedly has a net worth that is astounding and a collection of cars that would make grown men drool. So if you are interested in knowing about Danny Coker's incredible car collection, then stay with us until the end of the video. And let's get started. Danny Coker may have become a household name through his appearances on the reality series Pawn Stars and Counting Cars, but the passion that began it all spans decades. Working on these vehicles alongside his father, a Ford Motor Company employee helped him develop his love of cars throughout his boyhood. After honing his mechanical abilities, Danny tried his hand at car restoration and discovered a talent that would launch him into a successful profession. When the show debuted, Danny had been attempting to turn automobiles into works of art for almost 15 years. Danny has other companies in addition to the Count's Custom Shop, including the restaurant, Count's Vamped Rock Bar and Grill, and a tattoo shop. However, he spends a large portion of his money on adding to his enormous collection of vehicles, which currently numbers over 55 cars and 70 motorcycles. So today, we will be highlighting some of the coolest cars in Danny Coker's collection. 1932 Ford Roadster Counting Cars viewers are probably familiar with Coker's 32 Roadster, sometimes known as the Vamp Rod. One of the few cars Coker said he will never sell was purchased by him and his father in Fort Lauderdale, Florida in 1983. It was initially modified in 1949 into a hot rod, spent the 1950s and 1960s on the drag strip, and then was converted into a Bonneville Salt Flats racer. However, the fact that it included a flame job by renowned customizer Von Dutch makes it historically significant. In addition, this is the vehicle on which Hot Wheels built their iconic 32 Roadster toy from the 1970s. With a small block 327 Chevrolet engine, Dyer's 671 superchargers, and a 3000 stall converter, this is an old school dragster that produces 615 horsepower. Though it used to be a daily driver, Coker says he doesn't take it out as much anymore because he's trying to preserve this classic and historic hot rod. 1971 Cadillac Eldorado Convertible Although Coker has a soft spot in his heart for Cadillacs and owns a number of them, but none of them are as significant as his 1971 Eldorado Convertible. The Dunham Coachworks Superfly Cadillac, or Pimp Mobile as Coker refers to it, was inspired by the legendary blaxploitation film from 1972. Coker purchased the Eldorado from a broker who said it belonged to a real pimp in New York City, without having seen it and with the assurance that it had been immaculately restored. However, he found out that the car was worn out and required extensive restoration when he finally brought it to his shop in Vegas. Coker claims that regardless of its condition, he would have bought the car since he genuinely wanted a Dunham bespoke Cadillac. From there on, he broke the car down to its frame and did a total restoration. When it came to the paint, Coker says he went crazy with the gold flake, and in order for that to sparkle properly, he clear-coated it with piano resin, rather than the traditional auto clear coat. Moreover, Coker added some personal touches to the otherwise faithful restoration by lowering the Eldorado and making custom chrome spinners for the front wheels. 1955 Chevy Gasser According to the story, Coker's mother once owned a 1955 Chevy convertible, but was forced to part with it. Later on, Coker and his father discovered one that was identical to his mother's and had it restored as a gift for her. When Coker went out on his own, it was one of the first vehicles he bought because it was the beginning of his love affair with the 1955 body style. Coker's 55 was a street machine in the 1970s, according to how he described it. He purchased it in Portland, Oregon. For a while, it served as his everyday transportation. But in 2018, a chance emerged to completely restore and customize the car. To display at the 2018 SEMA show in Las Vegas, Counts Customs collaborated with Matrix Automotive Finishes to create a radical and, in the Counts' words, 
insane custom paint job. In the end, one of Coker's Garage's most jaw-dropping, head-turning rides is what they came up with. As a true gasser straight-line drag car, it has a solid axle front end and a bored-out big block 497 CI Chevy engine that produces between 600 and 650 horsepower. Coker doesn't drive the 55 much these days as it sits next to his mom's Chevy convertible at the Count's Customs showroom. 1995 Dodge Viper In 1989, Coker was back home in Detroit for a family reunion when he randomly spotted a prototype Dodge Viper tooling down the road. He didn't know what that mysterious roadster was at the time, but he eventually learned. Coker was so taken with the car that he seized the opportunity to get one as soon as he was able to. He ultimately acquired a 1995 first-generation Viper, the last year the car was available with side pipes, which Coker must appreciate. Coker gave the beast a few modifications after that because he was also a car customizer. Coker replaced the hood and nose as well and added some louvers because he claims he prefers the front clip of the 1997 Vipers. Additionally, he had HRE create some unique three-piece polished wheels. The major modification was made to the engine, which he transferred to Hennessy Performance, who turned the 400-horsepower V10 into a supercar with more than 600 horsepower. To add some Coker flavor to the Viper, he ghosted spider webs into the custom rally straps because, as he says, I kinda got a gothic thing that runs through me. 1966 Mustang GT350 Danny Coker loves all his cars and everything cool with an internal combustion engine, but there is one vehicle in his garage that holds more sentimental value than all others put together. Coker's father purchased a 1966 Shelby Mustang GT350 when he was just nine years old, which served as the impetus for his love of all things automotive. Coker eventually received the GT350, and he declared that if he had to sell all of his possessions and could only keep one, it would be his father's Mustang. My father bought it when I was nine, Danny recalled. That started the whole thing. He bought it from a gentleman in Cleveland who kept it in a carpeted, heated garage. I'd go in there and look under the hood. The special connection to his father makes it all the more sentimental. My dad and I were best friends and business partners, Danny added. He was the one person who taught me so much about business and about life. He was the rock star of the family. I'm just trying to fill his shoes. Technically speaking, a 1966 Mustang isn't a Mustang because Ford dropped the name for that model year and instead marketed them as Shelby GT350s. The 1966 GT350's 289CI V8 engine produced 306 horsepower and 329 pound-feet of torque, which was more than enough power for the vehicle's size and weight. Coker is a well-known auto customizer who has modified nearly everything in his garage. Yet, he has largely left the GT350 alone because, in his opinion, it is already pretty darn perfect. 1974 Roadrunner The 1974 Roadrunner has long been a popular car because it is compact and powerful. The Roadrunner, another reasonably priced muscle vehicle, has a devoted following of both everyday drivers and collectors. Danny's Roadrunner sports a couple of Count's Custom Shop signature stamps, but otherwise resembles the original model. 1978 Lincoln This 1978 Lincoln was maintained in line with its opulent beginnings and has a chic paint job that enhances the distinctive design of the vehicle. When not in use, the headlights are concealed, preserving Lincoln's desired streamlined appearance. This vintage piece adds sophistication to Danny's collection, and of course, Danny gave the vehicle his personal touch. Lamborghini Countach Given that most of them sell for $300,000 or more, Danny's collection's Lamborghini Countach might be his most costly vehicle. Most auto enthusiasts dream of owning a Lamborghini, so it is understandable that Danny would want to display his collection's Lamborghini Countach prominently. Currently, a large number of the Pawn Stars alum's restored automobiles and motorcycles are on display at Count's Customs, and Danny confirmed to Las Vegas Weekly, I'll bust them out on a regular basis.
So if you're looking for a man who is living his dream life, it would be Danny Coker. That's all for today. If you're interested in more, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.